Grab some tissues because our next and keep them throughout yes. the show. Starting with our next guest, they're about to make you shed some real tears this morning. We don't mean <laughs> of sadness. No. They're the tears that come from side splitting, deep belly laughter. Yes, yes. Impractical Jokers is the hilarious TV show that follows a group of tight knit friends who perform innocent pranks on unsuspecting victims, and it's all caught on hidden cameras. Take mm -hmm. a look. You look so good in that outfit. Work. 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 You feel like a serial killer. Work. 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 <laughs> the, show, the show has been on the air since 2011 with a successful 10 season run, 270 episodes, and a star studded celebrity Sorry. guest lineup. <laughs> <laughs> From stand up comedian Colin Jost, uh, supermodel Brooke Shields, and their laughter is infectious. I, know. I don't know what I'm it is. Crying. I don't even know what the joke is. I'm just laughing at them laughing. <laughs> anyway, you see them up at the screen. They've all been a part of the debauchery. And we promise, this is not a prank. No. We are about to be joined by two of the Jokers this morning. So please, without any further ado, give a warm welcome to James Murray and Brian Woo! Quinn. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> work! 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 You guys, come on! Come work on it! Okay. Come on in! Work it! No, 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 Brian. Right over here. Honey, come Brian. on. No, no, no. <laughs> Brian. Oh, he gets, he gets confused. And Brian. we're already off the rails. Brian. Oh, hey, Brian, bud. over here, over buddy. Over here. Come here. We come have here. a seat saved for you. Watch over those here. wires. Oh, no, 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 It's me. It's, it's your friend, Jane Murr. Right here. We're here. We're here. Here we go. No, 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 Sorry. My stomach oh, is already hey, laughing so hard. Um, <laughs> you, um, you yes. Stuff so, oh my you. gosh, you're a hot mess. This uh, is your plant. Lammy, the couch has come Sorry. apart. We have dirt all over. <laughs> you can roll this up and smoke this. We got a lint roll up? Uh, well, it's legal now, so. Okay, all right, here. You well, see hold what on. this is? Hold on, sorry. You, you look who you make come out of the cave. Who, he's handsome. Who I is know, that? he is. He's yeah, taking his lamp. What a handsome lad. He's a married man. You're married? You should yeah. see, we make him reach for light bulbs sometimes. You see get those abs? Midger, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, I can't yeah. reach for up there. Lammy, yeah. come on back. Don't hide. He's being shy. Get over uh, here. Hi. Hi. Good you. Welcome to New York Living. Thank you. Thank you for all all of that. Oh, no problem. Thank you for being here. Yeah. You this, can send us the dry cleaning this bill. This is yours. Uh, oh, it is ours. It was in your it lobby. It was in your lobby, and it's it was. Someone needs to water, water that. Well, that's <laughs> when it was a problem. It wasn't it water. I watered it, and then everybody was like laughing at me, and I was like, I can't it's trust real. you people with a plant. So this is coming home with me now. You know, I'm so yeah. it's so and full of this was one. Yeah. also in your lobby again, <laughs> not watered at all. Yeah, guys, Nothing. <laughs> like, look at this is embarrassing. Yeah, guys. It is what embarrassing. Is this real or is this fake? That's real. I don't know. See, I don't no, know. That's fake. Uh, that's fake. That one doesn't need more. This one looks like an issue. Uh, this one. But that's probably why, why, that. why that one looks alive because it doesn't <laughs> need water. Yeah, he's coming back to Staten Island with me. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take care of it. I'll send you guys pictures. Okay. okay. Sounds fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, off our hands. Thank you. Let's take it back. It takes a level of comfort. Obviously, you two have known each other for a very long time. Where did it begin? How long ago? <laughs> oh, freshman year of high school, man. That's when we fell in love. 1990, oh, yeah. It's a love Aww, story. See, is. I didn't know it that. Is. Yeah. It is. It's one of the greatest Where do we go stories. to high school? Shout it out. <laughs> I'm in Senior Farrell, all boys Catholic high school. On Staten Island. Staten Island so it really was a love story. Road. <laughs> 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 in world today. Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and when, when did you both realize that you had a love for pranks? Um, the... The, uh... You mean our love for pranks? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, we learned that we like loved pranking. I see what's going on. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Pranks. Oh. Pranks. 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 I feel like we're at the Yankee game. <laughs> Woo! Man, we can't get anything past you guys, man. I want to know what other key words you've decided to clap on. I don't know. Maybe there are other Let's get back other to the actions. <laughs> <laughs> man, I really made a mess of the studio. Yeah, you did. Oh, it's I'm fine. sorry about you that. Can, you can put your plan. Can that guy take his shirt off and come in here and clean this up? Lammy. Lammy. <laughs> 
You want to? Can we get a broom? <laughs> that's, that's no prank, bro. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, come on. I finally get on board. And, and, and every, we should change the mood. We should change the mood. Oh, whoa. <laughs> right? Yeah. We should just change the mood. That is so cool. Right? Yeah. <laughs> But seriously, when did you realize that how much you love playing? We did comedy in high school together. Yeah, we right. did uh, the Monsignor Farrell Players. They were called. They were the oh. uh, the, the your high troop. Uh, yeah, yeah, your troop, yeah. if you will. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We were a roving comedy troop. Yeah, bro. well, it was the only way because we went to an old boys school and oh, uh, they did that group with the, our sister school. So yeah. if you wanted to meet girls, that's uh, you, yeah, you got to. You had to make them laugh. Yeah, you had to. Well, yeah, yeah. Were so you successful a, in this endeavor? I got married at 44, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's well, that ends well, some might yeah. say. Uh, all right, so you guys <laughs> have a show, obviously. <laughs> we do. The yes. Impractical Jokers. Yes. There's a couple of you on there. Yeah. Who do you think is the best at uh, pranks? Oh, me. Oh, come on. You? Yeah, don't you think? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa! Look at this bitch! Look at this bitch! And you shall receive. <laughs> <laughs> Saw a little of that hot midriff. Yes, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's not to be missed. All right, who's uh, the best? Who's yeah. funnier? Um, yeah. I think we, we're kind of, it's a real symbiotic relationship yeah. at this point. Like we kind of, nice yeah, right? I got it from Spider-Man. Oh. Venom, yeah. Oh yeah, I think I heard. It. Yeah, so, uh, uh, so we kind of like, I don't even know how to be funny without these guys, so, you know. You complete each other. Yeah, I oh. think so. We, we are, he had you at hello. Yeah. We're Jeremy Maguire and. Uh, oh my God. Oh, Renee, that's what's her Zellweger. name? Zellweger. Zellweger. Yes, thank you. I always looked at you as a little kid. Oh, as the yeah. human he head. The human head. You were the little yeah. kid. That's how I saw, <laughs> always how I saw him. Yeah. But how did yeah. you guys come up with these? He's though. all grown up now, by the way. Look at look him up. Jonathan. The kid? Yeah, he's all grown up. He's something adult. Do you know his name? Jonathan something. I forgot. Let's make it. He's now like a veterinarian in upstate New York or something. I might be making that up. What is going on with these two? They know everything about this kid. It's weird. We know a little bit about a lot. But seriously, how do you how did you guys come up with the different pranks? Uh, <laughs> well, at this point, like at the start of every season, we'll like get in a room for like a few weeks and uh, just throw ideas out and come up with stupid We're stuff. We're in the middle of filming season 11 right now. Right. Nice. And uh, I mean, the, the punishments have gotten so outrageous. Last yeah. week, I worked as a waiter at Del Monaco <laughs> Steakhouse in oh New York my City. God. Oh, my God. And the punishment was very simple. They said, Murr, you're not allowed to give people their checks at the end of their meals, no yeah. matter what, <laughs> no matter how many times they ask. Yeah. Oh. And after about a half hour of customers asking, it was a near riot in Delmonico's. Yeah, it got bad. It got bad. I mean, that's a that's a fine dining establishment. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's a, that's business lunch, power lunch. They've only got an hour, and they yep. got to get out of there. Oh, you yeah. get some high-level executives off there. Yes, we did. And how do you okay. get places like Delmonico's to play ball with you guys? Mm, we go there, we eat, we tip big, and then, uh, <laughs> yeah. then they invite And then you back. take them to the back to yeah. the show. Let's no, I have a proposition. It's always a fan uh, on the inside. Okay. That oh. is like, oh, you guys want to shoot here or stuff like that. Demonico's a big get for oh, us. So they're coming to you. I, I, I'll tell you what, can we ever film something here for the show? I, I'm, please. I'm serious. The boss. I can't Because we have yet. a bunch please. of ideas. Nicole? To do <laughs> Nicole, are you watching? Air. She's our big boss. <laughs> please, please. I mean, be wild. Hilarious. Oh, that you know, we hilarious. really we have some ideas of our own. Okay. We'll, we'll go offline. Uh, you have worked with a ton of celebrities. Yeah. You have pranked. A ton of celebrities. <laughs> oh, I missed my cue. If they... <laughs> Sorry, Hazel. Uh, and it, who, if you could just pull off the ultimate heist, prank heist, that is, mm. on anybody, mm. who would it be? Like your dream. Mm. Hubert? Uh, <laughs> wow. Who? I don't know. For me, I, I, I'd go uh, Zach Galifianakis. Oh, yeah. Really? Or, uh, I thought you were going to say Jack Zach Black. Efron. Oh, I was thinking Dan Ooh. Aykroyd. Oh, oh. Like a Dan oh, Aykroyd. I, I love okay, him. yeah. Uh, like a Bill Murray. Oh yeah, you know, oh yeah, that would be an, good an too. Ernie, basically a Ghostbuster, a, a Ghostbuster. <laughs> yeah. Any of the Ghostbusters. Any, I'll tell you again. Minus it, the one that's no longer. Yeah, playing. unfortunately, I soul. know. Yeah. <laughs> he was one of the only few celebrities I cried when I heard about passed away. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay. When one day I will, you. I said celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> So. <laughs> got it. Yeah. No, got you it. are celebrities, though. I mean, that, I always wonder, the number one thing I wonder when I'm watching this show is I'm like, how do these people not realize? And I always say to my boyfriend, guys. I'm like, if they showed up anywhere I was, I, I would, there, there would be no show because I would call them out. Yeah. <laughs> we, we still get away with it. We really that do. Amazing. But we're always, you'll, you only see one of us at a time, which That's helps, true. Yeah, right? Okay. Yeah. We're always out of context. So like yes. last week, Unassuming. we were working at a, a chicken restaurant in Brooklyn. Oh, she was the manager of the store. He had a hat on, glasses, the whole thing. <laughs> and uh, we'd set up a scenario where 
uh, uh, a fake scenario where somebody had to get down on one knee and propose to his girlfriend oh in the store. Huh. And we said, Q, all you've got to do <laughs> is throw them out of the store in front of horrified customers <laughs> to think it's real. It was insane. Right, People it. wanted to kill me. One woman, she Aww. was in the 60s, she goes, you're never going to get laid and you'll never find love. <laughs> she yells at me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's weird, like like just because we've been doing this for so long, like that's never easy to absorb. Like Aww. it hurts. Well, you know? I was just gonna ask: Is there anything that ever sticks with you? Because the reactions are probably they run the gamut. Yeah. Positive to negative. Is there anything like when you go home, you're getting in bed at night, you're like, oh, did we go too far? <laughs> well, well, I mean, and the same same challenge last week. The scenario for me was one of our crew members put in a fake pregnant belly, oh, God. and oh, no. she pretended to go into labor oh. in the store in the restaurant. And so customers, of course, are nervous, anxious. And they had me throw her out uh, as the manager. I'm the manager. No, I feel like you can't you have this baby here. And she laid down on the floor, and I went to drag her legs out of the store. And I went home from work that day. I was like, did I just try in front of real New Yorkers to drag a pregnant woman out of the <laughs> store? Before? You know, I was like, that was my day. I, I think a lot of people who are fans of your show want to be a part of yeah. it. And now you guys are going on tour. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're yeah. playing Radio City Musical. May Hello. Yeah, pretty Cinco cool. de Mayo. Huge. Yeah. Yeah, oh, margaritas are going to be a flowing. Yes, really, right? There's a, there is a nice Mexican joint in the area, yeah, too. So yeah. tell For us about what it's going to be like. Uh, can they it's, uh, it's our live comedy show. You can get your tickets at ImpracticalJokersLive.com. I'll bring the plant. I'll bring the, the plant on stage. The plant will be there. Hopefully you could revive, revive it. Well, there oh, is going to be a special guest there. Tell Again. us about Boris. Yeah, oh, my cat Boris. <gasps> it's a cute. Yeah, I got cats. <laughs> I, I got. I, so I have like 11 cats that I feed what? in my yard. And uh, I have... I have Three inside and Boris? eleven outside. Is that Boris? There he is. <gasps> there he is! Oh, oh my he's god! He's a good-looking fella. Cute. Oh, he's so look cute. Look at this boss. Oh, 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 look at Boris cat. Oh my yes. god. He is adorable. He's That's a good-looking cat. cat. Oh, he's so sweet. He was a stray. Oh. I just found him in my yard. Look at that. Oh my I god. Know. And now he's inside. <laughs> oh, now he's this pampered little lord. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, the lord. A lot of kisses. <laughs> so he's gonna be on the show. Uh, he's he's why well, I, I don't yeah this pictures we, we do a bit about him on on oh, stage yeah he's my Boris awesome. cat I love him he's only ten he's already like quite famous yeah, yeah good for him the other cool thing we do on stage much. on May fifth is uh, we're going to punish Sal live on stage oh, invite okay. a child from the audience to come up and help us uh, do a live I love when they get the kids involved I don't know why it just takes it to a whole <laughs> other level uh, also you have an event coming up later this year for Alzheimer's so sure uh, my wife and I uh, run an Alzheimer's charity my father passed from Alzheimer's last year. Year. Mm. Uh, all the money goes to raise money for Fisher Center for Alzheimer's Research. The event is uh, November 9th in Montclair, New Jersey. It's our right. third one. Oh, Get your tickets at 95charity.net. All right. There you go. We'll, you we'll too. have it on our website. Yeah. You too. Thank you for all of this. <laughs> you no, thank you for it. having us. Like, it's you really can grab nice. a broom on your way out. <laughs> 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 and uh -oh. you at home can grab tickets for the drive, 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 drive. That's five drives. Five drives. We need to get into that after the commercial Happy anyway. Happy to. Uh, attending to Radio City Music Hall on May 5th. They said it. Just head over to ImpracticalJokersLive.com and be sure to catch up on new episodes of Impractical Jokers. It's on the True TV app. Yeah. yeah. My uh, husband for is all one of the your best pranks. Fans. My dog. Da da da. Well, all right. Plan. Thanks, guys, for coming in. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Thank